So today we're photographing and filming the Van der Stadt 47 Samoa called Destiny. We're out in the Solon. Sophie's just dropped me off on board. So uh, have a quick look around. Thanks, Harry. I'm Sue Grant from Berthon, and let's just have a look at this extraordinary yacht. She's from 2011. She's a Van der Stadt Samoa of aluminium. She spent six seasons in the Arctic, was built to MCA Category 0, and is a massively capable four-wheel drive cruising yacht. As you can see, she's got a bow protector that's actually in 10mm Kevlar, and then there's a stainless steel protector on top of that. She's got a very rugged rig by Formula Spars. It's aluminium. She is massively constructed. She is six millimeter under the waterline, five millimeter above, and four millimeter on deck. She's built of 5083 aluminium, aluminium sheet, CNC cut, and the extrusions are in 6082. Lovely red top sides, flexi teak deck. She's been there and done all that with huge capability. Here's her rib on the deck. It's a Walker Bay Hyperlon folding transom rib. and then we're going to go back and have a look at her aft cockpit. She's got this fantastic structure which keeps you safe in cold waters and in fact she's just come back from a season in the Caribbean and because the insulation is so good and the ventilation she's proved herself to be a great warm waters yacht as well. A couple of hundred meter reels of line for work in the frozen north. Um, cut a rig, of course. Twin windlasses, they're hydraulic. Huge anchoring arrangement. The bowsprit takes, she's got a code zero and an asymmetric, so that takes all that. Because she's MCA coded, she's surveyed annually and everything is tip top. She's got sails from Parker K. And here is the front boot. Huge area, watertight bulkhead, of course. And this takes downwind sails and lots of other kit when she's on passage. Pole on the mast. Very secure and safe. Fully battened mainsail. Easy to manage controlled to a great degree from the cockpit. She's got protected line guards. Granny bars. Massive galvanized tow rail. Center boarding gates, which works really, really well. Solid vang. Everything here is done for safety and security. And she's got solar, their blue solar panels fitted 2020 with Genusen regulators. And indeed, she's now with us ashore in Lymington. And these guys will keep the batteries charged and working without her needing to plug into shore power. Fabulous cockpit, very safe, secure, and importantly, comfortable. Teak trim. You're looking at one of the two hydraulically operated seats, which can take life rafts underneath for the aft lazarette. Access to the aft anchoring arrangement. This is a watertight bulkhead. 
she's a drop keel boat as well. So she's five foot seven up and 10 foot six down. Very robust system. This boat is like an onion, there's an awful lot to her. You will have to read the specification because I'm just glossing over a lot of stuff that I don't have time to tell you about. Fantastic vision here for watch keeping. You see, she's all LED, everything she needs. At the front, she's actually got a searchlight for the ice. All of the halyards all tuck away so they don't get in the way. And she's got soft spots for the main engine, which is a mermaid and the Onan generator in that cockpit. So now we'll have a look below. Amazing interior woodwork. This is the chart table. She's running on Maxi. And here is the skipper's berth. That's actually gimbaled. So when you're at sea, you're literally so secure and safe and not having to brace yourself. Electronics are current. She's got Nexus instrumentation, twin autopilots, fantastic galley. This is a hot point induction hob. She's got a quokka, which every boat should have one. Double sink, microwave. All of the pots and pans and everything else all have their own place. And then here, she's got a very nice twin cabin. Staggered bunks. This is a yacht for going to sea aboard. Good storage. Lovely steps coming down. Electric loo here, shower room, and behind, which we're just going to go and have a look at the man cave. Access to the machinery port side. She's got inverter charging system, sea fresh water maker, snap on toolkit, vice. Great boat, watertight door that we're just going to go through here. And this is the main saloon. She's wearing her big table at the moment. She has a smaller one for when you have fewer people. And here is her reflex diesel heater, which goes on at the beginning of the winter when she's up north and stays on all winter. She's also got a Wabasto custom-built heating system. Behind this picture, you will find a flat screen TV. And here is a very important part of ship's equipment. This is the drinks cabinet. And you see the burr finish is continued on the inside. The joinery on this boat is really outstanding. Leather seating, snug, comfortable place. Obviously the centerboard casing goes down the center of the yacht. Beautiful floors, all wood floors. Harry, as you can see, is also doing this walkthrough. Another guest cabin. You can see the smaller table here. All of the hull ports are guarded for MCA. The boat has been immaculately maintained and then through into the owner's Ford stateroom. Double berth cabin. Navigation equipment on the port side. Lots of storage under the bed. Lovely, bright and airy place to be. Forward of that, you've got a shower room with access onto the deck as needed watertight bulkhead through to the Ford Lazarette. She's got an amazing amount of storage and space for her size. And 
and then you've got a heads compartment next to it we're just going to have a look at Corian laminate all the way through lovely towel rail when she's up north everybody's on board is as snug as a bug in a rug she'll sleep seven and then back into this lovely cockpit Destiny, four-wheel drive, sailing, just about anywhere.